Hi, my name is Tara Leon, and I'm going to show you my art haul today. We have four boxes from Amazon. We're going to open them up and see what I got. Okay, we got some signature oil pens from Sharpie. These are going to be used specifically for signing my paintings. If you use a regular Sharpie, the it'll disappear. It doesn't have good light fastness, so the pigments will just go away. So I got two different kinds of these. I got black ones and white ones. Okay, this is a splatter brush. So this is my third splatter brush. But this has a kind of a unique design. Splatter brush for special effects. Okay, so one of the things that I kind of want to work on is my backgrounds. They need more detail. Um, but I think it'd be an interesting effect to do like a damask style background. So I might do this for murals as well, but stencils give my backgrounds a little bit more variables, more variation. Stencils. I like working with new products because I can, it's an experimentation kind of thing. I can figure out which tools work, which tools don't work. But I also do, I'm also an art instructor, so if students ask me what tools are best, I have more information to give them. I'm, that's interesting. I'm not a huge fan of canvases. I've, I've painted a lot on canvas and I'm just not a huge fan. So I've been a lot, buying a lot more cradled panels. Cradle panels have a little bit more depth, almost like a gallery canvas. Um, and I got more panels that I'll have to gack and gesso. Okay, carbon paper with a ballpoint styluses. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out different ways to transfer designs from one medium to another. But I also got some white uh, carbon tracing paper as well. Some paintings are dark and they work better with lighter colors and some paintings are light and they work better with darker carbon paper. So, so I also got um, larger Sharpie uh, black oil based markers to do my signature because I need to work on my signature. This, this is something that's very interesting to me. I remember playing with the spirographs when I was little but this one actually has metal um, wheels, which I thought would be sturdier. And I don't know yet how I'll be incorporating these into my art, but it'll be fun to play around. So this is the, the anniversary die cut collector's edition. Oh, that's nice. They're metal. That's very cool. Very happy with these. They feel very good as well. Okay, white carbon paper for dark paintings. More stencils. Okay, let's see what we have here. Flowers. Process. Honeycomb. Mm, not sure what that is. Crosses. This one looks fun. That's interesting. Oh. 
clouds. There's a lot of stencils in this one. This one looks cool. I like this one. Okay, I'm not sure how this one's supposed to go. Alright, stencils. Okay, so with the um, 50th anniversary limited edition design set, I also got this. Super Spirograph. It has um, larger tracks to do the wheels in. Oh, and it's got one metal wheel. Yeah. So I want to thank uh, Patricia Hosey today for this haul. She sent me the Amazon gift card. Been very helpful. Adopt an artist today. Well, I also teach classes, so you'll see the link below. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.